crack the code of stock market success. Five keys to profitable investing. Did you know that the average investor misses out on over $5,000 per year due to poor investment strategies? That's enough to fund a lavish vacation or even a down payment on a new car. In today's video, we're talking about the stock market actually cracking its code. We're going to reveal the five keys to profitable investing that could turn those missed opportunities into realized earnings. Yes, even in this unpredictable market, understanding the stock market. You've probably heard the term thrown around in news headlines or overheard it in conversations. But what exactly is it? Well, the stock market is a marketplace. It's a place where buyers and sellers come together to trade shares in public companies. Companies issue shares to raise money. They use this money to grow their business, fund research and development, or pay off debt. When you buy a share, you're essentially buying a piece of that company. You're becoming a shareholder. But the price of these shares doesn't stay constant. It fluctuates based on a variety of factors. The company's financial health, economic conditions, and even public sentiment. This is where the opportunity to make or lose money comes in. If you buy a share at a low price and the price goes up, you can sell it for a profit. But if the price goes down, you could end up losing money. Some people think that you need a lot of money to invest in the stock market. But thanks to advancements in technology, investing has become more accessible than ever. There are over 60 stock exchanges in the world, and they play a crucial role in the global economic health. These exchanges facilitate the buying and selling of shares, and they provide a platform for companies to raise capital. How successful investors crack the code. Once you've understand the stock market, you have to crack the code with the right mindset. To be honest, the stock market isn't a secret society with a hidden handshake. It's a complex system that can be understood and navigated successfully with the right approach and attitude. Successful investors like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Kathy Wood didn't just understand the market. They literally cracked its code. They knew that patience, discipline, and continuous learning were just as important as financial knowledge. Take Peter Lynch, for example. He managed the Fidelity Mangolin Fund and constantly outperformed the market by focusing on what he knew and understood. He didn't try to predict the market's every move. Instead, he invested in companies he believed in and understood that's cracking the code. The stock market is constantly changing, and what worked yesterday might not work today. Successful investors are always learning and always adapting. They're not afraid to change their strategies when the market conditions call for it. So, cracking the code sounds exciting, doesn't it? But what are the keys to this code? Let's start with our first key for the stock market success. Leveraging the power of compound interest, often referred to as interest on interest. It's a process where the interest on your investment earns interest itself. Kind of like a snowball rolling down a hill, growing bigger and faster as it goes. The key here is time. Suppose you invest $1,000 at an annual interest rate of 5%. After the first year, you'll earn $50 in interest, bringing your total to $1,050. But here's where the magic of compound interest comes in. In the second year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $1,000. You're also earning interest on the $50 interest from the first year. So at the end of the second year, your total grows to $1,102.50. That's an extra $2.50 earned, thanks to compound interest. This might not seem like much, but over time, trust us, this additional interest can really add up. To leverage the power of compound interest in your investing journey, try to start early and whenever you can earn interest or dividends on your investments, reinvest them. This will increase the amount of money that's earning compound interest. 
Moving on to the second key, using dollar cost averaging. It's more than just a fancy term. It is a strategy where you invest a fixed amount of money at regular intervals. Regardless of the market's performance, could be weekly, monthly, quarterly, I mean, whatever works best for you. The idea here is to stay consistent with your investments over time. Hey, why would I want to invest regularly, especially when the market is down? Well, that's the beauty of the dollar cost averaging. When the market is down, your fixed investment buys more shares because the price is lower. And when the market is up, you buy fewer shares. Over time, this can result in paying a lower average cost per share. Let's say you decide to invest $100 in a particular stock every month. In January, the stock price is $10. So you buy 10 shares. In February, the stock price drops to $5. So your $100 buys 20 shares. In March, the stock price goes up to $20. So your $100 buys five shares. So over these three months, you've invested $300 and bought 35 shares, resulting in an average cost of about $8.57 per share. If you had invested all $300 in January, your average cost would have been $10 per share. That's the power of dollar cost averaging. Next up, third key is investing for the long term. It means having a long term perspective when it comes to your investments. You know, resisting the urge to jump in and out of the market based on short term trends or temporary market fluctuations. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, is a strong advocate for long term investing. He once said, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. According to a study by Dalber, a financial service market research firm, the average investor earned an annual return of just 2.6% over a 20-year period ending in 2013. That's significantly lower than the S&P 500's average return of 9.2% over the same period. The reason? Short-term trading in poor timing, in other words, trying to time the market instead of investing for the long term. Moving on to the fourth key. Taking your risk tolerance level into account. It refers to your ability to endure losses in your investments without losing sleep at night. You have to understand how much risk you are comfortable taking on and investing accordingly. Yes, it's a deeply personal thing and can be influenced by many factors including your financial situation, your investment goals, and even your personality. Let's say you're an adrenaline junkie. You love skydiving, bungee jumping, and anything that gets your heart racing. Now, does that mean you should also take high risks in your investments? Not necessarily. Your thrill-seeking personality might make you more comfortable with taking risks but it doesn't automatically mean you should invest all your money in high-risk stocks. You also need to consider your financial goals and your ability to absorb potential losses. According to a report by the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, understanding your risk tolerance is crucial for successful investing. The report states, investors who do not understand their own risk tolerance may take on too much risk potentially leading to financial losses. At last, let's talk about the fifth key to cracking the code of stock market success. Benefiting from diversification and strategic asset allocation. This is a big one, and it's often touted as the golden rule of investing. The goal of diversification is to invest in a mix of different asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, and so on. And within each asset class, you want to spread your investments across different sectors and industries. For example, within your stock investments, you might have shares in tech companies, healthcare companies, energy companies. This way, if one sector or industry is performing poorly, 
your other investments can help balance out the impact on your overall portfolio. As for strategic asset allocation, it starts with understanding your investment goals and risk tolerance. Are you investing for long-term growth? Or are you more focused on preserving your capital? How much risk are you willing to take on? Once you have a clear understanding of these factors, you can set target allocations for different asset classes. For example, if you are a young investor with a high risk tolerance and a long-term investment horizon, you might have a higher allocation to stocks. But as you get older and your risk tolerance decreases, you might shift more of your portfolio into bonds. According to a study by Brinson, Singer and B. Bower, asset allocation is responsible for more than 90% of the variability of a portfolio's returns. Well, that's it for today. So what are your thoughts on these keys to profitable investing? Do you have any other strategies or tips that have worked for you? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on Mind Over Money, Eight Mindset Shifts for Financial Abundance. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.